welcome to another edition of Voice of the Vet. And today is good. It's this is going to be a good day because I know you guys are all getting tired of looking at my great mug. So we brought a real pro in here. It's now somebody you can look at, okay? And it's very easy on the eyes. So this is a good thing. This is Tammy Rouse, and she is a nurse. She's with Voice of the Vet. Um, she, you were an Army combat nurse. I was an Army combat medic. Medic. Yes, Excuse not me. a nurse yet. All right. No, you weren't a nurse then at that time? No, I was oh, just a okay. medic. And you were in Desert Storm. Yep. And from the, some of the conversations we've had, you saw some action. We saw, yeah, we took care of uh, Saddam's Republican Guard. We had a POW oh. camp, and we those were our our prisoners and our patients were wow. from Saddam's Republican Guard. So that must have been uh, fun. Yeah, we followed, I believe it was the second mechanized infantry. So whoever they came across and they needed medical good? attention. I bet you most of them did, huh? Yeah, they were very dehydrated, 90% of them, because they were living <laughs> in bunkers and um, they yeah, didn't have access to water and stuff like that. So most well, of them were dehydrated. That was the enemy, right? Well. They were our enemy, but they also, once we pushed forward, then Saddam also abandoned them wherever they were. Of course, that's kind of leader. Yeah, so yes, then yeah. they got behind enemy lines, so to speak, and then they got left in we're the like, dust. What did we do Literally now? left in the dust. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, you've been a nurse for, a registered nurse, an RN, for 23 years. Yes. Yeah, doing all kinds of different things, right? Yeah, I've, um, I started out as a postpartum nurse taking care of moms after they have had their babies oh, yeah, it's... and I did that for about a year and then um, went into labor and delivery which was the bulk of my career oh, and, wow. yeah and I did some home health for about a year year and a half and I managed a medical clinic for five years as well so jeez, oh, all right yeah <laughs> so she knows I'm not even gonna question well I don't <laughs> I don't question her anything medical that's okay yeah. whatever you say now this is Tammy's first podcast ever. Ever. <laughs> so, and we're gonna. I want uh, I, you know when people see this, I want you to send in questions if you want, and or even call me. And we'll, next um, podcast we do, we'll have those easy questions for you. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so today, um, let's just start out by anything on your mind about what Voice of the Vet does or you know what our role is to help vets or anything like that. Anything you want to talk about? Um, I just appreciate being part of Voice of the Vet. Um, oh, we appreciate you being part of it. you kidding me? Yeah, it's a great organization. Um, these guys, we're just very caring about what happens with the veterans, uh, for the veterans, and what's going on in veteran services. So um, I know that we've got a couple of uh, piece of paper here on our desk and so there's some topics on here that we kind of need to bring to people's attention so um, this is one of the great services of Voice of the Vet is yeah. when things like this are brought to our attention we're not afraid to talk about them no and that is you all if you've been watching this for a while you know we don't pull any punches it yeah. is what it is and it will be what it will be and today we have a little letter here from Congress, I don't know if you can read that from there, but it's gonna be on the website. There'll be a link to this letter. And uh, it's something that, as both Tammy and I, as we've gone through our our disability claims and things like that, it's never cut and dry. It, it's There's always something messed up about it. And if you put a period upside down, they're gonna reject it, you know? Right, yeah. So at least they, that's what yeah. they do. And, and the, understand that you know, we're not VA haters. Oh, by no means. No, not at all. What we want to do is we want to say, like so many other people, there's a problem here. The VA's changing the rules in the middle of the game. That's got to stop, for one right. thing. We're here to help with a solution. And as part of a big, massive movement or front, whatever you want to call it. And we're not the only ones. My God, there's thousands hundreds of millions yeah, there's and there are so many other veterans groups and um, yeah. everybody has different views on things and everybody has different ways of helping um, but we're here like part of one of the services that I do provide for voice of the vet is helping veterans 
um, get their claims in and helping them reevaluate their claims and evaluate their medical records and uh, do I do a medical review? I am a registered nurse, so yeah, legally that's... I can review your medical yeah, records. Um, you want her doing it, not me. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, and um, then I can help write a chronological review of your records and um, help submit that with your documents. And some of the things that they're changing right now could limit that access and limit my ability to help um so this this letter talks about that yeah and um as of right now any like anybody that you ask to look at your records basically um can look at them and what they want to change it to is that only accredited attorneys agents or representatives can do it yeah it's which, all money out of your pocket. Which, yeah, um, those those when it says accredited, that puts dollar signs behind oh, it, time. and yeah. that's you know we we're here to help. We don't necessarily want. I mean, we'll take donations. Well, yeah, but we're not going to charge, gonna you, charge for it. No. you for it. And anytime it says accredited, you can bet their bottom dollar they're going to charge you yeah. for it. Yeah. So that's something that I don't like. Um, and I mean, right now it's a pretty veteran friendly system as long as the veteran signs something saying that I can access their medical records, yeah. I can go in and do that legally right now. Yeah. But if this new rule passes, I won't be able to do that anymore. And what this letter is, it's a letter from Congress dated uh, April 22nd, 2020 from, uh, what is it, the... Uh, uh, there's Senate. a bunch of yeah. There's state senators and congressmen. Yeah, Congress people. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say. Um, it's like from the uh, what is it? Senate uh, Veterans Affairs Committee or something like that. Yeah. But it's what it is. What it's boiled down to now is Congress is they're really catching wind of all these different changes. They're seeing the things that the VA is doing behind everybody's back. That's what it looks like, and uh, they're getting tired of it. So that's where they're writing these letters. This is right to Wilkie himself. Yeah, and the, the very, one of the statements in here is, uh, why are you doing this amidst the COVID pandemic? Don't, yeah, the question, which are the responses to these questions in this letter are requested by May 4th. Well, yeah. that's Monday. Yeah. So we don't know if the questions have been answered or not, but one is why did the VA go ahead and announce this during the middle of a, <laughs> this pandemic, when everybody else's resources are stretched thin, and you know the VA is stretched thin and focused on just helping the vets with medical stuff. Yeah, and it's like, why make all of these changes right now? Well, these people that are going to work on these cases, they're working from home. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So good luck with that. Yeah, I personally just uh, submitted last night an it for an increase in my um, some of my personal um, disabilities and um, the the website said it wasn't accepted and that I had to get in touch with the benefits people well by the time I called they were closed because I think they've really shortened their hours yeah, too with yeah. everybody working from home and um, so today I had to go into the VA hospital to get some lab work done and so I just walked down to the benefits office and oh, it's good. closed oh, really? like there's nobody there at all okay. so it's like um, if you're not so now you don't even have a face-to-face -face person to talk to yeah. you can only do it either on the online system or on the phone and I don't even there's not anywhere that says you can Skype and I, like I, d I do better face to face, yeah. and so um, I don't I don't know how long this is going to last, and I don't even know if they received that. Now. Yeah, there's no there's no way to track it. Mm -mm. No, once it's submitted, yeah. you don't know until you get a decision letter, yeah. which is also I mean I could go in. There is a way to track it, but it doesn't tell you any time frames and. No. Yeah, that's true. The system needs to be improved just a smidge. Just a bit. It's not <laughs> horrible, but. It's getting there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this isn't the first time they've changed the rules in the middle of the game. 
I mean, no, there's so did. many. Oh my God. What six? No, about eight months ago they did some rule changing yeah. too. And so that's when I actually first started getting involved with you guys with Voice of the Vet. And um, yeah, it's so, yeah. And you know, people might think, well, hey, you know, it's still COVID time out there, and you know, we're not, we're supposed to be six feet apart. Well, we we have protection right here. Oh wait, yeah, we have the monkey. That's a he's see, our anti-COVID monkey. Yeah, he laps it all up. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a blanket. And she has a blanket, so, so we're, we're good. protected. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm immune. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, but we want to keep you guys up to date on what's going on and why it's going on. Because honest to God, if if you can figure this out, then write a book because you'll be mega rich. Or let us know. Yeah, so you definitely. Yeah, know, so. because we want to help as many veterans as we can. I mean, we've as a veteran, we've earned these rights. Yeah. It's not that we're being given something. We all sacrificed a part of our lives to the United States government. Yep. And um, during that, you know, I saw wartime. Um, not everybody did, but whether that's, it doesn't matter. You don't. No. Your, your life was changed during that time. Yeah. And so we deserve these benefits. And of course the government's trying to take them away from us. Yeah. So what's new on that story? Right. So um, with that, that's about all I have to say on that topic. Okay. So what we're, what we're gonna do? <laughs> Play is, it for us, Gump. That's all I got to say about this. That. This is yeah. Okay, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. Jenny. Um, we'll put this on the website so you'll see the letter in its entirety and read it because you're gonna see things that you have never been told before. Yeah. And we're gonna do that every single time now that. Because we're we got the the feelers out there, and we want to know what's going on, and we have people that can get us these these letters, and they're going on the website. Um, yeah. We're not trying to be shitty about it. We're no. just trying to protect the vets. What does it say here about a voice? You remember that one? Oh yeah, I highlighted this. Our veterans deserve a voice during their VA claims determination process to fix any mistaking mistake prior to official. I don't even know that word. Promulgation. Promulgation. Um, um, I don't know what that word. Promulgation. Yeah. It's a, it's a, that word. It's a four-syllable word. I don't know. <laughs> I don't we'll, know we'll, many we'll of those. Right here, and you can read it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they want to give them a voice. They're, they're, they they deserve a voice. Yeah, they're saying we deserve a voice, and so the the people that wrote this letter are in our favor. Yes, they're on they our side, yeah. and so they're saying that we really deserve a voice and. As voice of the vet, we do too. That's right. <laughs> so, it's, thanks for bringing us in there with the voice part. Yeah. yeah. So. But um, yeah. So, if you guys have questions, send them in. I'll do my best to answer them. Or if we don't have the answers, we'll send them to other people and try and get answers. Oh, yeah. um, or we'll put them up and keep posting them until we're a little gnats in these people's ears and uh get yeah. some answers so yep. um or if you have any questions specifically for me um we'll put my um email address somewhere right now you're going to see it right now okay all right and it also <laughs> is going to be on the website right below the video so. yeah so um if you have any you know questions or concerns that i, I might be able to answer please email me yeah, and please. i'll get to those as well good all right, you did a great job on your first one. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Man, my first one, I was stumbling, bumbling, like, yeah, hey, what? But um, yeah, so now you see, we're gonna have, this is, going, we're gonna call us Tammy time. It's Tammy, Tammy time. time. So thank you, and thank you. Yeah, so, thank you. Look forward to some more with Tammy on Tammy time. See you guys later. All right, have a great day, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We don't even have to do many outtakes, retakes.